I love number 22. But, for some reason he hates my guts. I swear to sweet Jesus he is committed to personally killing me. Honey, Carlos does not drop easy game clinching interceptions as some personal vendetta against you. He simply has hands of stone and can't catch. You know you are right sugar buns. It's just that my doctor said, if I go into cardiac arrest one more time in the waning moments of a Redskins game it would probably spell my final doom. Yes, I told you that you must stop watching games once the fourth quarter begins. And you must expect Carlos Stone hands Rogers to drop at least two passes every game. And one of those will be in an especially crucial moment of the game. You know I can't stop watching sweet thighs. I live for the burgundy and gold and ultimately they will be the death of me I suppose. But I do have to accept the fact that Los has the worst hands ever and will never be able to catch a pass targeted directly into his hands. His hands are so bad he couldn't catch a cold if was trapped bare-assed in a blizzard on the Baffin coastal tundra in Canada in the dead of winter. I know, his hands are so bad he couldn't catch a fish if that pretty little red-headed waitress at the Red Lobster put it on a plate and brought it to his table. Who the hell is this red-headed slut? Susie? Up? I mean there is no waitress. I was just taking poetic license. Anyway, let us keep on track. You know his hands are so bad he couldn't catch the clap if he slept with every single cowgirl's cheerleader. I hate those hose bags. The first ladies of football are so much hotter. Especially that Brittany. Oh what I would do to her if she came over to swim in my pool berth naked. What the freak are you talking about honey touche? Uh, I must apologize for that digression. I was just experiencing some sort of spontaneous Freudian fantasy. You know Stonehand's hands are so bad he couldn't catch poison ivy if he took a bath in it. Yes. His hands are so bad he couldn't catch on fire if London Fletcher doused him in gasoline and Andre Carter flung him headfirst into the open mouth of the Mount Kilauea volcano. I know. His hands are so bad he couldn't catch a break if he found a genie in an old lamp that vowed to grant him three wishes. That is true cherry panties. His hands are so bad he couldn't catch a breeze if he sailed a catamaran straight through a Category 5 hurricane. Yes, his hands are so bad he couldn't catch a falling star if he were a black hole. Yes, his hands are so bad he couldn't catch a bus at Hartwood Elementary School during afternoon dismissal. Yes, his hands are so bad he couldn't catch any rays if he were sunbathing in his speedus on the light side of the moon during a solar flare-up. That is true butter britches. But you know I think Carlos is going to surprise us and get a pick six against Aaron Rodgers this week. Stop it. Don't be an asshole. Pigs are not going to fly. Hell is not going to freeze over. And Carlos Rogers is not catching anything. Yes, you are correct, Stockberry Muffin. I better start packing up the Redskins mobile for our tailgate. Dickhead, the game is not until Sunday. You know I like to be the first one to start tailgating on Arena Drive 24 hours before kickoff. Okay, dear, just don't forget. Hail to the Redskins. That's what I'm talking about. Hail to the Redskins.